Paradise Killer. Hello friends, this is Self-Critical Automaton, a 90s anime mech suit pretending to be a person. And this is episode 6? I want to say 6 of my let's play of Paradise Killer. So, um, there's a couple things we want to do today. First, we're going to talk to Dr. Doom Jazz and see what information he has for us to slurp up in our, you know, relentless uh, investig investigatorial digestive system. And, um, I phrased that pretty badly. Anyway, so yeah, we're going to talk to him, then we're going to review the evidence we have so far, then we're going to decide what to do next, I think. So I'm just going to dive straight in on this one, like, uh, no wandering around, no no rummaging in the bins, we're just going to talk to Dr. Doom Jazz. Is his name Dr. Doom Jazz, or does he have a doctorate? Does he have a doctorate in Doom Jazz? Dr. Doom Jazz. Head Doctor of the Syndicate. Lady Love dies, as gorgeous as you were three million days ago. Also, it's nice to see that he has chest hair. You you almost n <laughs> like, it's kind of rare to see body hair even on men nowadays, like in art and movies and things. Dr. Doom Jazz, the Syndicate's head doctor. Born in the Cannon Fortress, Scotland, in AD 988, under the sign of Cosmic Deceit. Growing up during a military campaign, Doom Jazz longed to become a doctor to tend to the wounded. He snuck into the haunted ziggurat medical school and studied in the library after hours. He became their top student and battlefield medic. He was captured during the Great Betrayal, losing his arms in a torture chamber before being rescued by Ai's Kiwami. The two fled to join the syndicate. And Starlight, the perfect pair. Um, I kind of want everyone to shut up and let me do my job, but he's more likely to tell me things if I keep him happy, right? I've missed the Doom Jazz charm offensive. And I've missed the Love Dice sass. Uh... How have you been? Still the same old Doom Jazz? It's been just swell down here. I assume you got the memo about last night? Something like that. I presume you're here on business and not for something nicer? Correct. I've got a job to do down here. How unfortunate. You're in high spirits, considering our leader and council have been murdered. Well, we all deal with grief in different ways. Do not be mistaken, I am well aware that this is a catastrophe. I'm just not one for outwardly displaying misery. What's your take on the syndicate on this island? Keep myself to myself. I'm not interested in the schemes. It's exhausting. Drama and politics are drugs. It's best not to get hooked, and that's a medical opinion. That tells me all I need to know about the state of this place. Anything else I can help you with? Does his... Does his le right arm say child labour? Is he in favour of it? I can't tell. Uh, right, let's get some info from him. First off, I want to know about his alibi. Where were you at the time of the murder? I was in my clinic until I was called to examine Henry. He was found outside the council building. Blood everywhere. I checked him over. Akiko has my report for you. Go see her if you haven't already. The Syndicate building's logs should confirm my alibi. I've already seen them. They confirm your claim. Oh right, okay. Interesting. So that was the that was the door logs that I already went to? Huh. Hmm. Cause one thing the one piece of evidence I found on my like setup playthrough of this that only got about 20 minutes into the game was that uh, he used the back door of his clinic as part of his alibi. Um, and his back, the clinic back door is busted. Do you think Henry did this, Doc? You read my report? Not yet. Go and see Aikiko and the prisoner. I left my report with her for you. That didn't answer my question. That's all I can tell you. I don't speculate on suspicions and hunches. I'm looking for facts. Can you make an exception for me? You only speak to me when you want something, love dies. It hurts. I'm just doing my job. There has been a mass murder that needs solving. I'm not going to speculate. You can bring anything you want to me for my fact-based opinion, though. What do you think about it? It's a nice story. People like to believe the easiest answer that fits their worldview. We kidnap citizens and force them to pray to genocidal gods. Of course the syndicate would be... Of course the syndicate would believe one of the vile working class would do this. There's something else at work here. Well, at least you have a working theory. 
Can you think of anyone that has got a motive? That's a biggie. Such a terrible crime. I'm afraid I don't know anything about it. Everyone's as, as innocent or as guilty as each other. What about, what about his motive? What's your motive, Doc? I haven't got a motive, Love Dies. Everyone's got a motive. They just haven't thought hard enough. Don't most investigators quote philosophers at this point in the conversation? Quoting is a crutch for the weak. Learn to have your own thoughts. What if your thoughts aren't as good as a philosopher's? Good doesn't matter. What matters is that they're yours. I've missed these chats, Love Dies. Much like Yuri, this is another character designed by someone horny for men's bodies, but I think his anatomy is kind of off. I'm not sure if it's just the odd shadows from his bathrobe or lab coat, or maybe both. After all, uh, <laughs> wouldn't we all love to be a loose lab uh, entity lounging around in some kind of fluffy lab coat? Anyway, yeah, I think that, I just think there's something slightly off about that about that anatomy drawing. Anyway, Yuri's alibi. Did you see Yuri last night? Yuri last night? Huh. I didn't see him last night, I'm afraid, love dies. What does that mean? That was... You're being weird. Stop being weird. Give me straight answers. Did you examine the dead guards at the first Holy Seal? Nope. Aikiko wouldn't let me. Well, that's incredibly suspicious, but she was probably just trying to cover up for the fact that they're not marshals. She said that's military jurisdiction. She didn't want the corpses of her soldiers disrespected by a post-mortem. Even though there could be evidence. In her mind, she's already got the case solved. Henry's behind bars and he clearly did it. Do you believe that? I'm not much into belief, Slub Dies. I'm waiting to see what truth you find. Is there a database of DNA or blood samples for everyone on the island? You want to run some blood? I wish I could help. Just after the crisis meeting last night, parts of the central service started corrupting. Hey, isn't that supposed to be impossible? I thought the data of the island itself was inviolable. That's convenient. Isn't it? I became aware of it because the terminal in my lab does an automated backup in the early hours. I got a report that the backup failed. I took a look at it and part of the medical archive had been corrupted. What about the backup of the central server on the moon? That went down as well. The corruption spread. Not to all of the moon database, I can still access most of the files on there. Where is the server on the island? In the caverns under the island. Mashahiro Heavy Industries maintains it. The only entrance to the cavern is via the Deep Factory, and that's under lockdown. Why? The Deep Factory is shut down at the end of the island. Only four people can unlock it. Council member Maken Origin ran Mashahiro, but her dead body's up in the council pen penthouse. Same with Pandora, too. She ran Dead Nebula and the Deep Factory. Nicolina Rose is second in command of Dead Nebula, but they're on the next island. Lydia took them early on. And Balthazar Tears was Maken's assistant at Masahiro, but he's on the next island as well. I'll go to the 25th island and bring Nicolina and Balthazar back, and then they can open up the Deep Factory so I can find out what the hell is going on with that server. Not so fast, Love Dies. No one leaves this island. Judge's orders. Besides, you need Lydia to take you to the next island, and she's on the list of suspects, right? So what do I do about this server? Two options. Chalk it up to bad luck and coincidence, or let it fuel a dreadful, all-consuming conspiracy. I'll go for the second one. Haha, <laughs> keep on trucking, Love Dies. Hmm. So, that's... I mean, the, the the body examination thing makes it more likely that Aikiko is behind the blood mismatch of the of the marshals, right? Because, I mean, she's already the person who would have access to be able to dress people who aren't marshals up as marshals. So I, I was suspicious of her for that reason earlier. But um, and also because you know she's the one who's taken uh, poor sweet boy Henry into custody and isn't letting anyone talk to him and insists that he's guilty. Like, it seems 100% like she's setting him up to take the fall. Um, which is... <laughs> maybe it's metagaming, maybe it's the paranoia of the investigatorial spirit, but that is exactly why I don't... I just, I think there must be something deeper going on. What do you know about K-Hax's disappearance? I heard he was missing. Keeps himself to himself, so I don't see him a lot. You been up to his place on the cliffs? Oh, it does seem like a good idea to rummage around in there. I keep saying rummage. Did you see the architect last night? She said at the crisis meeting she was at Witness's apartment. The witness can probably tell you more. Well, that corroborates what she told me, but that's still just her saying it. What do you know about the second Holy Seal? 
Not a thing, love dies. Council business. Well, that was helpful. Okay, that's really interesting. Um, I wasn't expecting to learn something different this time. Uh, unless the door I was thinking of is not actually the back door to his clinic. I wonder what was different on this... on this run. Like, what information did I gain in a different order that changed what I got? Well, that is a mystery that we will leave for the ages. Let's, uh, let's see what happens if we hang out. Is he going to immediately try and jump my bones? I mean, he seems the type. I've got all the time in the world for you, you know that. It's been so long since we spent time together. You still a wine and whiskey woman? Not a lot of either in the idle lands. Want a glass with me? Enjoy the island for a few minutes before getting back to all that murder. I've got a bottle of freedom letter open. I I kind of want to accept that, but um, I feel like I shouldn't be fraternizing with suspects yet. I'm working. The offer's there if you change your mind. You're carrying the weight of the syndicate on your shoulders. Don't let it get too much. How's it feel to be investigating again? The truth remains obscured. It sure is. The future hangs in the balance. How has the doctor been since I last saw him? Keeping entertained, you know. It's a small island, but there's always a way to have fun. I'm sure there is. Only one way to find out. Uh, I don't really want to flirt with him, to be honest. He's not necessarily not my type, and therefore by extension Lady Love dies his type. Not that I have types. Um, as an automaton constructed solely to create uh, high quality let's plays and get angry about video games quietly to myself, um, do I have a type? Absolute mystery. But um, I think I'm going to go with Exasperated. You don't give up, do you? Can you blame me? It was an unforgettable night, loved eyes. Oh no, okay. <laughs> so they did hook up exactly once and he's been carrying a torch ever since. I absolutely made the right decision here. Maybe you've got some time right now. Each second I spend here allows the truth to slink further into the shadows. Paradise can't wait, huh? Feel free to swing by any time, love dies. I'll keep that in mind. Well, well, well. I'm enraptured by you, love dies. Besotted, enthralled. Where's this going? I understand the key to your heart is information. You desire the unknown. You desire to know about people. Maybe there's something I can help you with. <laughs> I mean... Uh, considering I just shot him down, I'm not sure I want to immediately start talking about probing. You said you might be able to help me? Love dies. You've charmed me. Despite the tragedy of last night, this island is infinitely more radiant now that you're here. Because it's you, and I can't get you out of my head, I'll break some ethics. I've treated Witness for death scream trauma. He started complaining of being able to hear screaming on occasion. We had no idea what the cause was, but it kept happening. I eventually narrowed it down to psychic death screams. Is that a fancy name for headaches? It's something like that. When someone dies, they involuntarily emit a death scream in a burst of psychic energy. Normally you can't hear them, but he'd become attuned to them. How? Well, that's still a mystery. I don't know if we'll ever know. He attributes it to the gods' anger. He's all doom and gloom about us not doing enough to please the gods. He's taking it as one of the many signs of the end times. Well, ain't that a mood. What treatment does he take? High strength migraine relief. That's the only thing that's worked. What about during the citizen slaughter ritual at the end of an island? Surely that would be overwhelming. That's different. The priests conducting the ritual channel all the psychic energy released by the slaughter into energy for the gods. It's dissipated away from the island. Does anyone else suffer from them? We had a case on Island 15. A syndicate member killed themselves because they kept hearing them. But no one on this island? Not in the way Witness does. I think demons can probably feel them. Every demon we've encountered has been attuned to psychic energy. Would this include the demonically possessed? Probably, but I can't say for sure. How would it affect them? I'd imagine a spike in adrenaline. Anything else about Witness? I've been worried about his mental health. Interesting. He's become secretive and guarded. It's manifesting in the standard ways, but multiple appointments with him have been interrupted by phone calls. He won't take a call with someone in the room and always steps out onto his balcony. Other people have reported the same thing. Who? Architect Carmelina. She started noticing it several years ago. She's worried he was slipping into paranoia. Why are you suddenly telling me this? It's been on my mind. I've been thinking about it last night and all the lunatics we have on the island. Then the heavens sent an angel to come question me. 
So you're breaking patient confidentiality to try and get into my pants? But she doesn't wear pants. Is it working? I'll let you know. It's absolutely not working. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. So that, I guess, casts some shade on the witness's testimony with regards to the architect. May the cosmos be a mystery and may you reach the moon. That's, yeah, hmm. Kind of curious about some of that information. Also, while I'm here, I just want to point out that, like, while this game is using the sort of visual iconography of a, of a game sprite, these aren't actually sprites. Because a sprite is a two-dimensional image, uh, which means that it always looks the same no matter what angle you look at it from. This is a flat plane that is actually rotating within a 3D, a 3D space. Which I find kind of weird. I find it more uncomfortable than if it was just always 100% looking at me. Uh, sorry for calling you it, buddy. Anyway, I'm going to go rummage in uh, your personal bins now. I wonder if he ever, ever invites you to have a look in here or if I'm just being terrible. Medical textbook, long, detailed and boring. Wine. Doom Jazz always gets the best of bottles. If you do spend the night with him, you at least get a nice glass out of, of wine out of it. Several, really. This guy's... Are they... I can't tell if they're intending this guy to seem skeevy. A photo of Grand Marshal Aikiko 14. Well, that suggests a deeper connection between the two of them. Power tools. It looks like Doom Jazz does his own maintenance on his arms, despite them being made by Masahiro Heavy Industries. That's interesting, I guess. Does Doom Jazz hold a candle for Aikiko? I always thought he was the love him and leave him type. So if, if he has feelings for Aikiko, why would he tell me that there is reason to be suspicious of Aikiko based on the various things that he said? I can't off the top of my head remember, but conveniently are recorded for all time in my magical laptop. So I think, I think this is the back door to his lab. Whoops. The back door to Doom Jazz's clinic. This should be covered by Syndicate HQ logs, but the door looks broken. That means it won't log who enters and exits. I wonder if Doom Jazz uses this. Because that um, that proves that he... It, it, well, no, it shows that we can't prove that he was in his lab the entire time, because the front door says he was there the whole time, but the back door is busted by what appears to be some kind of um, octopoid agate eye, which... You could do that if you want, I guess. Can I jump over there? I want that I want that gem. It's very important that we collect all of our hyperspace meta currency as we go, but um I think we're just gonna confront him with that right away since he's right here. Is does it do that splash uh, splash image every time? I found a door. A door? The back door to your clinic. Oh god, don't start talking about back doors hit with him. We'll be here all day. The relentless flirt. The connection to the Nightmare console that logs who enters and exits the Syndicate HQ has been broken. Is it really? I had no idea. Sure you didn't. I mean, he's got power tools in his in his boat, right? So he probably could have used those to bust it up if he wanted. Ah, oh, I think there's something going on there. So I think he snuck out of the clinic. But what connection that makes is a mystery. But um, if Aikiko beh uh, is behind all of this, it seems not unlikely that he's involved then, based on the fact that he's snuck out and also gone and done... Uh... I mean, if anyone could corrupt the medical logs, it would be him, right? So then that would that would factor in. I had a whole bunch of other stuff I was going to talk about today, but um, unfortunately, talking to this guy has taken up most of our time. got a whole little <laughs> a whole little list of notes that I haven't had the chance to get to. Right, so I guess what I should do now is decide where I am going to head next. Is that that's the murder scene, right? So I've spoken to Yuri, I've spoken to uh Carmelina. Have I spoken to anyone else yet? I'm not sure. So I need to speak to Aikiko, I need to speak to Witness, and I need to speak to Sam Daybreak and Ideally, Lydia Daybreak and maybe um, 
her, whatever her name was. The deep factory lady. I'm just going to put all these in here to see what else it is. How many are missing? Looks like I've got one, two, three, four, five left to go before I uncover whatever sinister secret this particular bar relief happens to be hiding. God, what else do I need to do? I also need to go and... Uh, well, I need to find a way inside there because the... The military HQ is blocked off to me, which is obviously suspicious when we're investigating a murder. And, um, yeah. And I need to go confirm my comm data thingy at a communications tower, which I don't even know where that is on the map. I don't even know where to find that. But before we do anything else, I kind of want to have a look up from here. I haven't been up on this rooftop before, and I'm just idly curious. Since we're walking past, I might as well have a look at it now before going anywhere else. So what can we see from up here? We can get up onto there as well. Okay. That's the justice department where we started. That's What's that on the other hilltop? Let's see. There's the map. Is that up here? Is that the opulent ziggurat? Yeah, that's probably that, right? So that must be the ziggurat, and then those must be the fields, and then that's the... F if that's the factory... Oh, not the factory, that's the generator. So that's that. The reality drive, yeah. So, okay, that must be this. So that's the opulent ziggurat on the other side of the Justice Department. Uh, that's... I've been to that generator. Oh, look, there's a... There's a, uh, a shrine there. I should go pop that open when I have the chance. It'd be nice if you could drop markers to remind you to go check stuff out. A lot of open world games let you do that, and this isn't a huge open world, but it's big enough that I wish I could put reminders uh, on it. So then that over there, that's the council building. That's the scene of the murder. So what's that over there? That's going to be... Uh, that's the council building, the gardens, the syndicate HQ, the courthouse. I'm on, I'm on top of here, so... Uh, well, if that's the syndicate HQ, does that mean that's the courthouse? Uh, it's really hard to tell with this giant fucking goat statue in the way. I should try and climb up there, though, and see what's up with that giant statue of what I assume is the silent goat. May it walk with us. Oh, hey, look, it's, there's a seal on there as well. Uh, right. Let's see what else we can spot from up here, because I hope I would imagine that the comm tower, rather than a comm tower, will be noticeable. Like, some kind of big, obvious thing. Oh, hey, it's a shrine to these guys. This is the biggest one of this guy I've seen so far. What's this? The plaque says, the blue goat brings fruit. I guess if I can find a blue goat, maybe I can get some fruit? Or maybe that's just... something. Yeah, what, what is that? That goes up to... Huh, what's that? There's a lot of stuff over there. I might devote just a whole episode just to wandering around looking at stuff to try and uncover some more of these mysteries, just because... I feel like I need to try and figure out where some stuff is. There's something down there. I wonder what that is. Let's see. Um, right, Shinji, what do you got for me? It's the Paradise Killer, the investigation thriller. Uh-huh. What are you doing, Shinji? Just rhyming, flowing, spitting fire off the top. Can you give me some space? I'm working on something here. He? I don't know if these are randomized or if, or if every location... Like, all the locations are fixed and you always get the same ones. Because he seems to be... Um, he's, he seems to be short with me at the moment. I think I offended him, maybe, when I spoke to him outside the uh, scene of the crime. Anyway, what the hell is this? This is another seal, but this one's blue. Key item obtained. A blue crest. That's what it literally is, just another crest. Um, I wonder if it... Uh... <sighs> <sighs> I wonder if it goes in the same crest board or if there is a different board for blue crests. Let's see. Let's go see if we can plug it into this. And then that will probably be it for today. Yeah, no blue in there. I guess there's another crest board somewhere. So, I should try and find a nice secluded save point. Or, no, actually, because I know that I will forget otherwise, we're going to cut here. And we're back. So I have lurked my way through 
a whole bunch of shrubbery, so you won't really have missed anything except for me getting various twigs and bushes slapping me in the face. But I have successfully made my way over to the shrine I spotted. So, uh, time for another quick blood piss. Hell yeah. Fill those buckets. Dire Rose, a carving about the god Dire Rose. The fish that vomits skeletons. Laid siege to France for three centuries before the siege was broken in the Great Betrayal. That's the shortest piece of information we've had about any of these things. So, oh, hey look, there's a thing on the end of his yacht. I didn't think to check around the other side. Um, I don't really saw some other interesting things up from on top of that building, whatever it is. Um, so, yeah, uh, come back next time and we will do a little bit more of this interesting exploration-y, gamey stuff. Can I get over here? I'm just going to save it this one because it's convenient and right here, so let's unlock it real quick. With my last blood crystal. Terrifying shallows. The water looks shallow. It is an illusion caused by a predator born in antiquity. Do not go into the shallows. Well, cool. I wasn't gonna. Anyway, so that is going to be it from me for tonight. And I will leave you with the sort of miserable industrial portrait of the uh, reality folding drive here by the deep factory the unsightly smoggy backside of the island the freckly arse of a modern society the place where people actually do the work probably for no pay whatsoever i'm drifting that's all from me for today thanks for watching if you enjoyed this please like subscribe and share i also stream on twitch and i now have a discord server for stream scheduling you can contribute to my existence on Ko-fi or Patreon, and all of those links are in the video description. Thanks so much for watching.